30, Saturdays till 3, Bob Wines Camellia Gardens, homegrown, locally owned, same location since 1952. Why not serve a delicious, intimate, and very easy dinner from Honey Baked Ham of Ocala? They have about the best ham produced ever and turkey breast or beef pot roast or pork roast. I thought they just served whole or half hams or turkeys that you picked up at Thanksgiving or Christmas. They have so much more. They have a cafe and do all kinds of hot and cold catering. They'll do most of the work while you get all of the credit. Where are they? Southwest 27th Avenue, right behind Best Buy. Give them a call at 861-0011. Embark on a magical night at the Appleton Museum of Art on Saturday, April 14th from 6 till 9 p.m. Follow your book of enchantment around the museum for unicorn carriage rides, magic shows, mermaids, artwork that comes to life, and more. Make mythical art in the art space and enjoy refreshments. Family ticket packages start at $35 for museum members and $50 for non-members. Individual tickets also are available. For details and to purchase tickets, visit appletonmuseum.org. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. An outbreak of severe thunderstorms will erupt across parts of the southeast today, not only with the more typical threats of large hail and damaging winds, but also a threat of tornadoes, some of which could be strong tornadoes. In short, this could be the most widespread severe weather event, not only of 2018 so far, but since last summer, almost seven months ago. Jacksonville, Alabama was likely struck by two tornadoes yesterday evening, just minutes apart. Local fire officials said a roof was ripped off a store near Jacksonville State University, a car was in a tree, and an apartment complex was particularly hard hit. The tail end of the cold front could spawn a line of severe storms across northern and central Florida into this afternoon as a jet stream disturbance is punching into the southeast, driving a strong low pressure system that is pulling warm and increasingly humid air northward from the Gulf of Mexico. This setup is providing the wind shear, a change in wind speed and direction with height needed to make the atmosphere ripe for the development of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. The first lawsuit filed by a survivor of the deadly pedestrian bridge collapse in front of the FIU campus in Sweetwater, Orlando-based attorney Matt Morgan of Morgan & Morgan says they are suing the design and construction firms on behalf of Marquise Hepburn, who was riding his bicycle underneath the bridge when it fell. He has this question for the defendants. If there's a crack in the bridge and if there's post-tensioning work going on, why is the motoring public still able to travel underneath the bridge? Six people died and several others were hurt in the collapse. Morgan says liability for the defendants could run over a billion dollars. He says they're filing now because they don't want any of the documentation to disappear. The Marion County Sheriff's Office is reporting that they have arrested a 62-year-old woman who allegedly broke into a car at a car dealership and accidentally set fire inside of the car. 62-year-old Dolores A. Graham is charged with burglary of an unoccupied structure and felony criminal mischief. According to deputies, Graham told them that she broke into a vehicle for sale at a dealership in the 1800 block of South Pine Avenue to sleep. She said she locked herself inside the car. She then allegedly allegedly tossed a cigarette underneath the front seat of the car, which started a fire. Graham told deputies she couldn't unlock the door. She reportedly attempted to smash open the front windshield with her hands and feet. When Sergeant Micah Moore responded to the scene, he said he was able to get Graham to press the correct unlock button inside the car, and he removed her from the vehicle. Authorities say a fire extinguisher was used to put the fire out. Graham is being held in the Marion County Jail. Governor Rick Scott hit the road to sign a bill addressing Florida's opioid addiction. Scott says that's in addition to all the money in the new state budget for prevention and treatment. We made a commitment here in Florida to do everything possible to help the communities impacted by the national opioid epidemic. Last week, I was proud to sign the budget, which included $65 million to support Florida's first fight against opioids. Scott signed the bill in Bradenton, one of the epicenters of opioid addiction in Florida, but things are improving. The sheriff of Manatee County says there's been a 75% decrease in overdose deaths over the last nine months, more than 3,300 opioid deaths reported in Florida in 2016. In Washington, Senator Bill Nelson was on the Senate floor talking about the need for tougher gun laws and promoting this weekend's march against gun violence in the nation's capital. Mr. President, 
This Saturday, students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, are going to lead hundreds of thousands of Americans all around the country calling for common sense gun control measures at the March for Our Lives. Senator Nelson said most Americans are clamoring for common sense gun laws, including universal background checks that he says would have prevented the Pulse nightclub shooter from getting a gun. At 88 years old, Lowell Collins has accomplished a feat that few have in the entire country. Collins has donated 150 gallons of blood in his lifetime, a milestone he reached recently at a one blood donation center in Leesburg. Collins has A negative type blood, which is critical in treating not only trauma patients, but it also contains platelets that are crucial in helping to treat cancer patients. It is estimated that Lowell's blood has been used to help treat almost 3,000 people over the years. Collins says it started almost 64 years ago in 1953. He said a woman at church told him that her husband needed surgery and she was wondering if he would donate blood. He says, I went over and donated and I was scared to death, but I just got it, unquote. He hasn't stopped since. And those are the headlines from the source, WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Tuesday, plenty of clouds, breezy, warm, and humid. A couple of thunderstorms will cross the area this afternoon, some of which can be severe. There's the risk for flooding downpours, large hail, and damaging wind gusts with highs in the upper 70s to mid-80s. Clearing later Tuesday night, breezy, cooler, less humid. The overnight low in the upper 40s to mid-50s. Wednesday will be a windy, cool day with sunshine high 69 to 73. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you to who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Visit George Mangan Insurance in Ocala today at mangininsurance.com. Celebrating 45 years of agriculture in America. That's coming up on This Land of Ours. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food. You're going to need our determination, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. Today, 4-H is growing the next generation of leaders. Support us at 4-H.org. Hello, this is farm broadcaster Max Armstrong. American agriculture is the foundation of our country, the fabric and fuel of a prosperous nation. Produced by American farms and farm families, American agriculture is food for life. Join the Agriculture Council of America in celebrating National Ag Day on March 20, 2018. You'll find more at agday.org. Agriculture, food for life. Tuesday, March 20th is National Ag Day, and this year marks the 45th anniversary in which Ag Day is celebrated in communities and classrooms across the country. The theme for this year's event, Agriculture, Food for Life. Events all around this land of ours, including the nation's capital, will help tell the true story of American agriculture and remind citizens that agriculture is a part of all of us. A number of producers, agricultural associations, corporations, students and government organizations involved in agriculture are expected to participate. National Ag Day is organized by the Agriculture Council of America. ACA is a nonprofit organization composed of leaders in the agricultural, food and fiber community, dedicating its efforts to increasing the public's awareness of agriculture's role in modern society. For more information, visit agday.org. I'm Kathy Isom, Southeast Agnet. Ocala Aviation now has opportunities for flight instructors. Wait, hold on. Brad, is this correct? You're looking for instructors, not students? Actually, we're looking for both. 
Well, that's descriptive. Well, I need flight instructors because we're now affiliated with a major university and can offer four-year degrees. Plus, we're also approved to work directly with VA students. Okay, so a degree in what and what's a VA student? Well, it's a bachelor's degree in aeronautics, which includes a commercial pilot's license, and there's financial aid available. By VA students, I mean veterans. They now have access to new benefits to pay for flight training. Okay, so you have new opportunities for new students. What about the instructor side of it? Well, with new students, we need more instructors. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. So, if anyone out there is a flight instructor, I want to encourage them to come see me. And and if they're not an instructor but have their commercial license, we can help them become an instructor. So they get their instructor license and have a job too. Exactly. So you got a lot going on. The VA, the college, and now hiring instructors and future instructors too. Yep. So now can we get the commercial started? Already ahead of you. Call Brad to get your adventure started today at Ocala Aviation, 861-7484. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, it's almost springtime. We got a half hour left of winter. How about that, Robin? Half hour. And winter will be over. Nice. And, and uh, yeah, I know. I know. It's in, in November, or when, when does winter start? December. In December, you're so excited. Oh, it's the first day of winter. Well, <laughs> today is the last day of winter, and the first day of spring. So how about that? Nice. Spring begins at 12:15 p.m. today, uh, and I want to tell you a little bit about it because I don't know. I don't know what you know. How am I supposed to know this, Rob? I know. Right? I don't know what I know. So, <laughs> you know, gosh. All right. So I want to. Before we do that, let me um, give you something on the serious side. There is a tornado watch in effect for us. Um, the, the the area that is being referenced in the news issued by the National Weather Service is pretty much everything uh, from north in North Florida, and uh, I think it goes as far south as Tampa or maybe even farther south. But the important thing to know is that Marion County, Ocala, Denellen, Bellevue, Lake Butler, Lake City, Lakeside, Live Oak, uh, Ocean Way, Olano State Park, all of these places are under a tornado watch. I didn't read you all of them, um, but pretty much everything in the northern part of the state. The uh, County of Marion, the County of Levy, the County of Citrus, the County of Alachua. Um, let's see what else are in our area. I'm just kind of scanning. Flagler uh, is in the, on the list. Pretty much everything. So there's a tornado watch in effect because there is a weather system moving into our area. Right now it looks kind of nice out there actually. So let's hope that this is a... Uh, an unnecessary announcement ultimately however uh, tornado watch if you're not familiar with uh, weather service jargon the word watch is not to be confused with the word warning although mm -hmm. it is still to be taken seriously a watch means that conditions are favorable atmospheric conditions are favorable for the formation of a tornado so mm -hmm. everything is in place a tornado could form it doesn't mean it will it means it could if one actually forms, then that will be switched to a tornado warning, which means there is one out there and you have to take cover. Usually with a tornado warning, it's a very, very, very small area as opposed to the tornado watch, which is encompassing a large area. So if a tornado warning was issued and it was issued for, let's say, Marion County, it would probably uh, specify or, or bring it down to, hey, good morning. Look how cute. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would probably specify which cities were being affected by it, sometimes even as regional as the airport. I've, I've heard a tornado warning, and they will say the airport, although they'll say... Uh, uh, let me see, how else would they, like State Road 200 there, they'll really boil it down to a small area. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to scare you, just prepare you. Yeah. All right. What are you going to do in the last 28 minutes of winter? Anything? Got anything planned for the last 28 min win minutes? No, I'm just looking forward to spring. You might want to go get an egg. Okay. Let me tell you why. Okay. Because there is a, th there is a myth, I'm going to say a myth. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you can balance an egg at the moment the uh, spring equinox hits. Really? Because the gravitational pull is exactly equal, so the, 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 tr the trick is to stand an egg right at 12.15. Really? Well, we're going to have to go find one. So, folklore or not, now, uh -huh. I'm, now I'm reading. Folklore or not, this, this is from the, uh, what is this from? From... Hey, good morning. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good morning. <laughs> Come it's on Todd in. and Liz. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> so uh, maybe, maybe they have some eggs they want to balance. They could be. Yeah, they might have some eggs. Well, any anyway, so um, if you have an egg, 
Go have some fun with it. Do figure out a way to stand it on end because the truth is it's just a myth. Since Robin walked away, I'll tell you the truth. Come on in, have a seat. Don't trip on the lip. Todd and Liz are visiting us from uh, from Wisconsin. Okay. Have a seat. You th- we're okay. in the last twenty eight minutes of winter right now. I don't know if you knew that or not. So winter ends in about half an hour unless you're living in the southern hemisphere in, w- in which case uh autumn begins in a half hour right yes yeah so. it does but this yes. is the time. now did you know todd did you know <laughs> let me put your microphone on <laughs> wait 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 since you're in the studio this is a good time for a film let's do a video here there you go the, did you know? <laughs> hold on let me get everything going a here. video whoa yeah don't you want to be on tv we're sure special. <laughs> yeah we were on the way here we were listening to your show on the radio oh really nice did we say anything that made sense yeah the winner's uh, yeah. winner's over <laughs> <laughs> so did you ever hear that uh, at the uh spring equinox you can stand an egg on end it'll balance itself or, or a broomstick have you ever heard that you don't believe it, do you? No, I don't believe it. Well, it's twelve fifteen. You got to give it a shot. Okay. See if it'll work. Let me get on it. You want to do it? There you go. You want to do it? I'll, we'll, <laughs> we got the video going. So let me let me tell you what it really says. This is from uh, what do you call the farmer's almanac? Yes. Old farmer's almanac. Yes. The egg trick sounds like fun. One spring, a few minutes before the vernal equinox, that's what they call it in the science world. Uh, several almanac editors tried this trick for a full workday. Seventeen out of twenty-four eggs stood standing. Three That's days later, amazing. three days later, we tried the trick again and found similar results, which means that has nothing to do with spring equinox. <laughs> uh, the, okay. So there you go. the The theory is that there's equal gravity on the day that the sunlight is also equal. Did you know that? So it only happens once a once a year. Well, according to yeah. them, according to them, do you, do you uh, what what is spring like in Wisconsin right now? I think I looked. It was twenty eight. 28, 28 degrees. Yeah, 28, yeah. Really? Was there snow on the ground? Or was uh, it no just... snow on the ground, I don't believe. I think there's another storm coming through, though. You know, we have mm-hmm. a tornado watch in effect right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I know it. <laughs> so do you have any plans to go sightseeing or anything? Yes, we are. We're uh, heading actually to Robin's mother's home to visit her and then go out to lunch. Ah, nice. And then hopefully she's going to show us the, uh, the the town, Ocala here. So. Oh, wonderful. Oh, really? And, you love it. And um, you actually spent some of your youth here, we heard last night. <laughs> Somet- something between the ages of 12 and who knows. <laughs> That's right. Right. The whole story started at 12, yeah. right. So you, you lived in Ocala for a while when you were younger. Yes. Okay, and and you lived here till seventeen. You lived here five years. No, just no. What, three years, I believe. Two years, and then oh. my my uh, parents moved to Orlando, and then said, "Well, it's too warm here. We got to go back to the cold." Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was before Disney was open. <laughs> did you have any aspirations to work in? No, Disney? it was after. Oh, after. Yeah. So did you ever try to apply down there for work? No. He was too young. He was twelve. Oh, that's right. You were eternally <laughs> twelve. This, I think it's the only age you've ever been. Mentally, I guess. Liz, how, like old, how old was Todd when you met him? I don't remember. You don't remember? How old were you when you met him? You remember that? Yeah. 30s. Oh, 30s. Yeah. Mm. Well, we're glad you're here because we really, really enjoy having you here. Did you ever have and a car? And I'm glad you are experiencing the city. Yeah. Did you ever yeah, have a car so with a rumble seat? Uh, we have a, a rumble seat discussion this morning. Have you ever had a car rumble with a rumble seat? seat? No, I've never been in a rumble seat. No. No. Okay, now some people will say that's where they learned the birds and the bees hmm? is in the rumble seat. Ah. So I can't imagine this because it looks like a smaller seat. Than the back seat. But see, when you're a big guy, small seats don't look too comfortable. You had comfortable. a rumble seat? No. <laughs> No. Robin, did you have a rumble seat? No, no, no. I was... Okay. But in you know. England, you know how they have different words for things. In England, they call the rumble seat the dicky seat. Yeah. Which now the whole birds and bees thing makes sense. Yes. It does. It makes a lot of sense now that you're explaining it If you're it calling it the dicky seat, of course it's going to be where you learn the birds and bees. In England, now here you're going to learn about rumbling. <laughs> Over there, you're going to learn about dickies. Rumbling is dangerous. Because when you wear those turtleneck things, those dickies, the dickies oh, right. they're hot. People get side excited and all that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love the springs here. They're so beautiful. Hopefully, you guys get to go down there, too. Which spring the are you going to? Springs. 
You don't know? Rainbow Springs, Silver Springs. Oh, you got them all a bunch nice. of springs Devil's down here. Nice. But when Devil's you, Den, maybe, yeah. sometime while you we're down here. You want to go to Devil's Den, don't you? I, for some reason. We've seen a lot, of, a lot of good things about it. Just kind of one of those wonders. Devil's Den mm. is probably more exciting than Devil's Mill Hopper. Mm. Have you ever heard of Devil's Mill Hopper? Is that a brewery? <laughs> we're from Milwaukee. <laughs> we're from Milwaukee. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it is a big hole. It's a sinkhole. It's a sinkhole. It's got hundreds of steps. Going down is not a problem. It's coming back up. Hmm. The other problem is, maybe this time of year, it's probably true, the mosquitoes down at the bottom of this thing are so so many. More mosquitoes than I've I've seen in a horror movie. We don't want that. No. You will come up with with welts on your face. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, they're not fun. Stick to the so Devil's Den. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to remember. I, I told you last night it was in Williston, but I think maybe it's in mm-hmm. uh, it's in South, between Ocala and Bellevue, right? Well, what's nice about Ocala is everything's like most everything is like within driving distance, a day trip. Sure. You know, unless you go to Miami, that's like six hours away. But you know, both coasts are really wonderful because you can do that for a day trip. Or go up to Jacksonville. That's only two hours away. Oh yeah, it's, it's in, not too bad. Oh yeah, it's in Williston. Look at that. That's Devil's Isn't Den. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh I've my never gosh. seen it. That we is in Williston. There. I've never been there. You can swim there. Yes, they go in there and they they scuba dive. They snorkel. I had no idea. Uh, oh, how wonderful! It's like it looks like a little ramp that takes you kind of in there, and then mm-hmm. you can do whatever you want. It's beautiful. Look it at does. It does. Some sort of a. What that is this? Gorgeous. Well, that must be the entrance. Oh, probably an office. I have never even known this was over there. That is beautiful. I'll write that down so I don't forget. Oh, is this what you're traveling in one of these things? Oh, no, you're you're in a hotel, right? Yes, we are in a hotel. Oh, look at that guy. Which is tricky. <laughs> Two and a half weeks of hotels. <laughs> so, But that's all right. Yeah, but we're, you got the cute little it. dog. You got Murphy. Yeah, Murphy's in the truck, actually. Oh, really? He's going with us today. Oh, he could've, nice. He could have brought him he's in. Gonna, here. Yeah, yeah he can go in the state parks and, and everything. He's allowed. He'll like that. Yeah, I think it's time for him to just to let him off his leash and run. Yeah. <laughs> He's been cooped up. Now that, now that I've seen pictures of Devil's Den, I want to go. I want to go to Devil's yeah. Den. That sounds like fun. Are you planning on swimming today? <sighs> Maybe Probably not. Well, Maybe not. But we brought all our equipment, but we got our suits. We brought it all. We carry coolers. We do it all. Scuba? You have scuba? No, no, no just oh, swimsuits. Okay. okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see how the day goes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Hopefully we can jam it all in before... Th- the storm's coming. Maybe yeah. the storm right. will go north or south of this, here. The storm is supposed to go come across our area and mm-hmm. then head out to the ocean and then make a U-turn and hit the northeast. Uh, so Robin's son and daughter-in-law will probably get this. So it'll be another nor'easter. Yeah, New Jersey. Oh, boy. Yeah. Another snow. Making we have a dog park here, too. Dog park in Ocala. Really, yeah, a really okay. nice one. It's really big. I used to take Shannon's dog there, and it's really big, and you just let the dogs off the leash, and they run, and they've got little toys there to play with. Nice. Drinking fountains there for the dogs, even a swimming pool. That's nice. So let me tell you about the fun. spring equinox, since we're doing a show for the audience. Okay. All right. The <laughs> spring equinox. Do you know what happens right. in spring? Um, the full worm moon happens. What is that? This is the March, the full moon in the month of March, which I don't know if it's happening right now or not, but this is when worms begin to emerge from the earth. Really? This is their waking up time, yes. I've not heard of that. Uh, birds are migrating northward. This is when they start to go back to your hometown mm-hmm. of Wisconsin, right? They go back up there. Uh, did you know the increasing sunlight is what triggers birds to sing? Didn't know sure. that. Yeah. You, you knew that? Yeah. Are you a bird person? Yeah. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I love the mockingbirds down here. Uh-huh. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that the one that says, uh-uh? Yeah. <laughs> it has a bunch of different songs. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think, I think there's a stuff. bird. Oh, I think there's a bird that has learned to mimic the sound of a car. Yes. That's the mockingbird. Yes. And so, oh, so they didn't make that sound until cars started making that right. sound, right? Car alarms. Yep. They so mim- they mimic everything. They are literally mimicking cars, right? Yes. They are. So I had a bird in my neighborhood when my son was little, and it would sit on the wire and would go, uh-uh. So I would always say to it, are you a cat? It would go, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you eat had them fooled. <laughs> it's nice when you have little children. That way you can talk to them about that. Well, little children and dogs are the only way I can ever be a magician. Because I couldn't fool you, Todd. If I tried to make a quarter disappear or come out of your ear, I, it, you wouldn't be impressed at all. <laughs> or if I threw a cookie across the room mm-hmm. and, and you didn't know where it went, you would be totally bored. 
But my yeah. dog, when I try to throw a cookie across the room, the dog will like, where is it? Where'd it go? Yeah. That was an amazing trick. How did you do that? And he drove his dog nuts by doing that. <laughs> doing that. <laughs> They're too funny. So where do, you, where do you live in Wisconsin? Milwaukee. In a little bit outside of Milwaukee. We're four miles away from Miller Park, ball, the ballpark where the Brewers play. Is that, w- w- how close is that to where you grew up, Robin? No, oh, it's Cudahy. It's only about oh, you in 20 Cudahy. miles away. No, we're yeah. actually, she was along Lake Michigan. We're maybe 10 miles west mm-hmm. in Greenfield. Of the, of, the, of the lake. Yes. So what do you do in the summer months? Is summer it, months, we jam it all in in about... Three months. Three months. So do you, I mean, do you go to the lake for a lot of things? We go down to Lake Michigan, yes. We both just bought bicycles, some bicycles. So. You did? Oh, how We like fun. to go down by the lake because it's flat, so it's mm-hmm. very easy riding. Is mm-hmm. bicycling a new thing nice. for you? In the last few years, we bought two bikes. Do you know... Um, we love doing that. Robin is your That's cousin? Fun. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, so your cousin and I rode bicycles 50 miles one time. Ooh. Yeah, that just about died. Yeah, 50 <laughs> miles. <laughs> they took. Yeah, we didn't work up to it. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what they did. They took these railroad tracks. They they ripped them up and they put little paths, like paved paths. So there was one over near the Nellon, 50 miles long, and we decided to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, we put her car at the bottom at the south end, and Mike, we drove up to the north end and got started. 25 miles into it, half halfway there, I'm ready to stop. But there's no way you can go north or south. Either way, it's going to be the same distance, right? So we went to a bar. Yeah. And we got some, <laughs> some water. Yeah. yeah that well, does. that was the only place that had some water. <laughs> yes. I'm, t- I'm telling you something. By the time we were done, that bicycle seat made me so numb in the nether regions. <laughs> you, you, know the, you know the cartoons where like a, a cannonball hits somebody and a big hole is left in them? Yeah. That's what it felt like. It felt like I had a big hole. Right there in my <laughs> netherland. <laughs> yeah, Indian could have come out of the woods and shot me with an arrow, and I wouldn't have known it. <laughs> I, I would have sworn it went right through. They're really fun, though. It's rails to trails down here is rails what it's to called. Rails to trails, nice. And they rip up, you know, old railroad beds, and then they pave them really nice. And no cars are allowed on there, nothing motorized. So I hope you guys have good experiences riding. Thank you, Toss. Thank you, Liz. Thank you for coming in. That was fun. Yeah, good very fun. Thank you. All right, uh, have fun at the Springs. We've got to take a little break. Glenn Beck coming up. We'll be back tomorrow. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. The shooter is dead with two other students hurt in a shooting in Southern Maryland. St. Mary's County Sheriff Tim Cameron. A male student 